the aim of this video is to show you that it takes a system to save a life. From members of the public to community responders and the emergency services, they all provide vital links in a patient's chain of survival when it comes to suffering an out-of-hospital cardiac arrest. This video aims to walk you through these steps in real time and wishes to focus on the importance of a team approach and a modified pit crew resuscitation in supporting the chain of survival. Greg, you alright mate? Oh Greg, Greg you alright mate? Greg, oh it's not that quick. I'm gonna call ambulance mate, are you alright? Bloody hell Greg, what's happened to you mate? I, I don't know, I can't tell. There's no response from him, I've been trying. I don't think so, no. Okay. I'll just need to put it on loudspeaker. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Yeah. Right, he's still not breathing. Hello? Oh, someone's Hello. here. Hello? Hello, where are you? He's, not, yeah. he's here. Hi, I'm Jamie from the office around the corner. Hi. What's happening? I'm Nathan, this is Greg. I've just heard a bang and I've found him unconscious. Okay, do you want to carry on doing CPR? Yeah. Is that first He is, yeah. I'm going to get the AD okay. on, okay? I'm going to get the AD on, you just you keep doing what you're doing. Okay. Keep going. Yep. Stay calm. Check responsiveness. Okay. Keep going. Call for help. Open the airway. Check breathing. What happened? Uh, I, I just heard a big bang. I found it on the floor. If the patient is a child, press the child button. Attach your hand yeah. to the patient's bare chest. If you're doing CPR, OK, I'm going yeah. to put the pads on the patient's chest. You're doing a good job. OK, thank you. Attach pads to the patient's bare chest. Going. OK, stop for a second. Yeah. OK, carry on doing CPR on there, please. Yeah, OK. Attach pads to the patient's bare chest. Keep going. Don't touch the patient. Okay, Analyze stop CPR. It. Okay, everyone's back to is perfectly safe, okay? Don't touch the patient. Analyzing. Shock advised. Okay, shock advised. Everybody stand clear. Don't shock touch in. the patient. Shock delivered. Carry on CPR. Start CPR. You can hear that tone. tone. You have to push go at that harder. speed, okay? So push as hard as you can. Push harder. Okay, that's good. Go to that speed, 100 to 120 a minute, okay? Push a little bit harder. Just make sure you're getting dark purple. And release fully as well. Good compressions. If you start getting tired, let me know. <laughs> Hello, ambulance service. Oh, over here. Hi, yeah. Hello Hi. there. Yeah, can you... This is Greg. Hi, I'm Steve. Steve. Yeah, I'm Jamie from over the, uh, the office. Hello there. What's happened? Um, so, Greg's collapsed. Um, we don't know why, um, but he's obviously in cardiac arrest. We started okay. CPR. I got the defib from the office. Excellent. And we've given him one shock so far. Jimmy, can I just swap places with you? Sure, Just yeah. so I can do a couple of checks. No problem. You just keep doing what you're doing. Hi, I'm Steve. Hi, Nathan. Hi, Nathan. Okay, Nathan, when I say I just want you just to stop what you're doing just while I do a couple of checks, yeah. all right? So, just stop now, please. Okay, so airway's nice and clear. Uh, no breathing, no pulse. Just carry on what you're doing, Nathan. That's brilliant. Okay, guys, we can't really work in this environment, so what I'm going to do is to get with your help Stop to move him into the middle of the room. Sure. If we aim for getting his head on that line... This one here? Yes, okay. facing in that direction, so his head's at the top, feet at the bottom. Yeah. If I take hold of his head and I'll keep the monitor, and you two either side, if we get ready, but don't stop until we're actually ready to move. Okay. You happy with that? Yeah. Okay. 
So you both know what we're going to do? Yeah. yeah. Obviously be careful where you are, Nathan, because there's some broken crockery yeah. on the floor. Alright. That's fine. If everybody's ready, so on three. So one, two, three. Straight into the middle of the floor. Lovely. And if you just keep doing CPR for me, and yeah, you just keep doing chest compressions like that. That's excellent. It's important that ambulance staff create a clear zone called 360 degree access to allow safe and effective working. Okay, so, Jimmy, once harder. I've got the um, airway sorted, yeah, we're gonna, gonna swap over, so you're gonna take over from Nathan, okay. and then we're going to do 30 compressions to two ventilations. Right, okay. So as you're doing compressions, I want you to actually count them out. Yeah, we'll do. Um, and then when you get to 30, stop, I'll do two ventilations, yeah. and then continue chest compressions. Okay. okay. Okay, Nathan, so if I can get you just to stop yep. and be ready to take over. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Brilliant. One, go. two, three, four. Stop CPR. Okay, just pause. Stop CPR. Don't touch the patient. Analyzing. Don't touch the patient. Analyzing. Shock advised. Don't touch the patient. Okay, just Press stand the flashing back. Shock clear. Button. Nathan, just watch your knee there. Don't okay, touch the patient. Okay, suction delivered. Stand clear. Press the flashing shock button. Okay, straight back on the chest shock again. Shock delivered. Nathan, thank you. Start CPR. Push to match the tone. So 30, so if you count out for us. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Pause there. Okay, straight back again. Count out again to your 30 as you did before. That's lovely. Hiya. I'm Sean, this is Andy. Oh, hi, Sean, I'm Steve. Uh, patient's name's Greg. Okay, this is Jamie. This is Nathan. Uh, Nathan's a colleague of Greg's. Jamie's our first responder. Okay. Okay. Andy, can you switch on our monitor? That's lovely. Okay, just keep going. Plug in the pad's cable. Jamie, could I ask you to take over from Nathan so that we can get some access in here? Jamie, can you just move down very slightly? Okay. Jamie, if you just take over from on the next breath. Continue CPR. Can I just squeeze Sorry, yeah. in there? That's yeah. all right, thank you. Okay, Nathan, did Greg complain of anything this morning? Has he complained of feeling well at all? Uh, I think after he had a big sandwich this morning, he had a bit of indigestion. Okay. Uh, that was about it, I think. And did he complain after a long time? Or? Uh, I think so, for about an hour or so, a couple of hours maybe, but I didn't really talk about it after he, he told me. Right, no problem. Uh, do you know if he has any other medical problems at all? Does he take any medication not or anything? Not aware of, no. Not aware of, okay. And he doesn't use drink of alcohol excessively? <laughs> no. no. no not and he doesn't do any drugs at all? No, definitely no. not. Okay, no, but sorry. <laughs> Got to no, ask. Just in case. Fine. All right, no problem. Steve, 13, the uh, see-through CPR 14, show and VS 15, still matches 15. up, don't you? Excellent. Okay, well, we're not due for rhythm check just yet. 15, we'll get some access 15, first 15, 15, and then 15, reassess. 29, uh, No, that's brilliant. Thank you, Nathan. That's excellent. You've done a really good job. All right. We'll, uh, we'll look after him from here. Do you want me to go around that side ready to take over? Just so yes, I'm please, if you could, yeah, back. yeah, no problem. Thanks, Steve. Thanks, 7, 28, 29, 30. Andy, can you just hold his arm up? Excellent, there? okay, just keep going. Thank you. I'm just going to sort out Nigel as well. Okay, so you just keep going. Give me a good count out, Jamie. 16, 17, 18, 23, 24, 25, 20. seconds for the next rhythm check. Thank you. That's it, Andy, you can let go of the arm now. Yeah, thank you. Andy, if you're finished around there, could you sort yeah. me out some capinography, please? Yes, certainly. Sure. Lovely, excellent. And let's get this swapped over for an eye gel. So just keep going, Jamie, that's brilliant. Okay, that's 
great. Thank you, Andy, that's excellent. So, Jimmy, if I can just get you to pause, we'll just do two ventilations and then carry on. That's excellent, keep going, and end I've got good end title. Okay, good. Are you ready for a rhythm check? Uh, yes, let's do a rhythm check. We're still now. showing CJ, we're still Let's. showing BF, so keep going. I'm okay. going to pre charge, okay? I'm going to go. Was Brilliant, it third yes. Shock, so, third shock, 200 joules, and then when you're ready, we'll have a look. Okay, it's perfectly safe, Jamie, don't worry. So, Jamie, one would tell you, just stop CPR, okay. okay? Stop there now. And VF, everybody clear? Clear. Yeah. And shock. Shock delivered, straight back on the chest, please. I'm getting quite tired now. Yeah, I'll come round the other side. Thank you. Three, two, one, Jamie. Three, okay. two, one. I'm your order on. I'm your order on. Yes, and indeed. Adrenaline okay. on 10,000 and in dates. Yes. Push harder. See adrenaline in? Of amiodarone. Right, thanks. Okay, so that's a good thing. Excellent. Yeah. Andy, how are you doing? Do you need a break? No, no, I'm fine. I'm getting good quality CPR from yes. the screen. Right, do you want me to see it? Okay. The yes, Sean, sure. if I give you the checklist, yep. okay, would you like to start and run through the reversible causes? Checklists are important, ensuring that nothing is missed. Okay, so we've got hypervolemia. Okay, there's nothing in the history to suggest hypervolemia. Uh, there's no active bleeding or anything like that, there's no history of diarrhea and vomiting, so I think we're going to exclude that. Okay, hypothermia. Okay, it's nice and warm in here. Patient is nice and warm with the touch, so I think we can exclude that. Yep, hypo hyperkalemia. We could do with a BM yep. if we haven't already got one. Yeah, take over. Okay. Um, 30 seconds, yes, what I'll do is once we've delivered the next shock, um, we'll get you to take over. Okay. Steve, due to position, are you all right pre charging and delivering the next Absolutely, shock? Absolutely, yes. Yes, yes. So we've got 20 seconds left. Yeah. Um, so what I'll do, I'll charge now. Yeah, okay. 15 seconds. So I'm going to charge Ten, 200, nine, charging. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I'm clear. Okay. Everybody clear. Yep, Charlie, clear. you clear. clear. Delivering shock, still VF. Shocking. Straight on. Straight to the right one. Thank you. Thanks, Jamie. Okay, we've got BM is 7.2. Excellent. Okay. That's really good quality, Jamie. Well done. Okay, so hypoxia. Okay, we've got an eye gel in and we've got good ventilation. It's nice and easy to bag and we've got a good end tidal. Happy with that. Yep. Toxins. Okay, there's no history um, to suggest any drug misuse or anything like that. There's no chemicals in here that I'm aware of. Nothing reported to suggest that. Um, pupils are dilated, um, but are actually reacting sluggishly. Okay, a thrombus. Um, gentleman has a history of several hours of indigestion, so I think that's probably the likely cause. Okay, tension in the thorax. No history of trauma, getting good rise and fall of the chest, nice and easy to bag, so I think we can exclude that. And tamponade. Again, there's no history to suggest that. We wouldn't know for sure anyway, but I don't think we can right. consider that. Right, okay, so it's th thrombus is the I think that's the likely cause, right. yes. Check this there. 50 seconds left. If you're tiring before that, let me know, but you're doing great quality CPR. Okay. It's a little bit deeper there. Do you need me to take over now? You're slowing up. I'm a bit tired. Okay, do the three, two, one again, and I'll get ready to come on. Okay. Three, two, one. Great, well done, Jamie. I was really nervous, I'm sorry. No, no, it's you really, really well. Really, really well. It's great that you were around the corner with an AD. Uh, I've got the next lot of drugs ready. Steve, I've got your check those now. Adrenaline, 110,000. 110,000, it's indeed, yes. Let me order on. 30 off. seconds off the next rhythm check, Steve. Um, yeah, it's indeed. Excellent, that's great. 30 seconds off? Yeah. Excellent, thank you. Okay, happy to charge because that still looks like VF on the see through. No, no, I'm absolutely fine at the moment, yeah. Okay. We are charging. Yeah, that's fine. Just give me a shout. We'll wait a time and we'll have a Yeah, the charge is five, four, three, 
two, one, I'm clear. Clear, still in VF, everybody clear. Shocking, shock delivered. That was that shock five? Yes. Okay. So let's have, yes, 150 on that one as well. Yep, so that's the adrenaline. We did half of the ammo around 150. Excellent, that's great. Okay, so that's the fifth shock delivered, and you've just given the second round of yep. drone. yes. Um, in that case, it looks like this patient's still in VF. Yep. So should we consider changing the pad position? Mm -hmm. See if we can get them out of here. Potentially go, let's go anterior, posterior with the pads. So yeah, we need a new set of pads, Sean, if you could. And let's get those applied. Um, yeah, the filter's looking like he's just gone into a potentially uh Rhythm compatible with life there, Steve. I don't know if you want to check that before we do. We've got about 30 seconds left on the timer. Yeah. Shall I stop now? No, or? let's let's continue to the end okay. of this cycle and then we'll have a look. But I agree, you're right, the, the rhythm has changed, it does look compatible there. Okay. Um, so yes, yeah, so let's keep going to the end of this cycle and have a look. Sean, do you want to just hold off on the pads yep. until we've done this rhythm check? No. Um, if when we stop, that certainly does like a good rhythm. Can you check a femoral pulse? I'll check a carotid. Mm -hmm. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, you ready two, to do a pulse one. Yeah. Okay, I've got a carotid pulse. Yeah, I've got a weak radial. Yeah. I've got a femoral. Excellent, brilliant. Okay, can we note that time? Yeah, time is 13.48. Okay, should we go for the post-ROSC checklist? Yes, because obviously we're not going to attempt to move for 10 minutes, so let's run through the post-ROSC checklist. It is important to use a post-ROSC checklist to ensure nothing is missed. So we've got airway. Okay, I'm still happy with his eye job. Um, end tidal's improved, but there's no respiratory effort. Do you want to get it secured? Um, I'm happy at the moment until we come to move, yes. Yeah, breathing. Uh, so there's no respiratory effort at all from this patient, so we'll just continue to ventilate uh, once every six seconds. Yeah. Um, do you want to connect to a ventilator? Are you happy at um, the moment? I'm happy bagging at the moment. Um, I think we'll consider that when we move on to the vehicle. Okay, and the CO2? So CO2 at the moment is uh, 4. And did you want to get the SPO2 on? Yes, so I'll go and start doing that for you, absolutely, are. yeah. Okay, um, so we'll get that on, see what the O2 is. Okay, circulation. Um, and if you can pop a blood pressure cuff on yeah, the top, so please, Andy. Full range of observations if you could. Yeah, yeah, yes, please. Do we'll also do a 12 lead ECG. We'll get that prepared. Yeah. Yeah, well, excellent. doing that. Okay, okay. So disability, so we're still We're still GCS3, so yeah. Temperature. Yes, we'll do a temperature as well. Yeah. Okay, and how are we going to get the patient out? Right, so we need to decide what the best access into this location is. Ideally, we want to get the ambulance trolley in and use a scoop stretcher, yep. so we're moving the patient without having to sit them up. Um, can we get somebody to, to assess the best access? Yeah. So would you be able to go and see what the entrance is like and things and see if we'll be able to get a stretcher trolley? Yeah, sure, no, so no, is no. that okay? Um, so Excellent. Yeah, right. Yeah. Can we also consider a second access site? I know we've got yep. the I.O. but let's see if we can get some um, yep. IV access some as well. Yep. So remember, for out of hospital resuscitation, ensure an early call for help, good CPR, follow advanced life support process, gain 360 degree access and use your check sheets.